welcome back to Rachel Bella Crafts. Rachel here, hope you're well. So for today's project, we are going to make a very cute little po uh, pocket, pocket, that is not project, um, to go in our journals. I'm going to try and do mine a little bit boho style, because obviously we're working on our boho journal at the moment. By the way, if you're following the How Boho Can You Go collaboration, it is Stacey's Crafty Jam today. Please go over to her channel and check out her video. I know she has something amazing in store for you. Um, so yeah, please don't forget to do that. And again, if you're following the hashtag, it's How Boho Can You Go. We do have a playlist linked down below. So you will need a sheet of paper for this today. Out of the sheet of paper, we're going to make four pockets. To start off with, we are going to fold our sheet of paper in half. So I'm going to fold it like so. Okay. And then we're going to fold it vertically in half. Like so. Now we're going to take the piece of paper. Fold it back in half vertically, uh, horizontally, sorry, and then we're going to point the paper upwards because we're going to be working on it this way, okay? So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just grab my, um, what is it called? This thing that's trapped underneath my desk, and I'm going to um, use my scoreboard. That's the word I'm looking for. I'm going to use my scoreboard to score. Um, just some lines on the side of this now. So I'm going to score a centimetre here. There we go. And then I'm going to score another centimetre here. That's probably an easy way of doing it, Rachel. There we go. I'm just going to check that. There's a measurement there. Oh, I've gone with an inch, right? Right, sorry. Okay, well, we'll go with the inch then. Right. Oh, it is a centimetre. What am I talking about? Ignore me. No, don't ignore me. You need to listen to the things I've got to say, but ignore what I'm saying. <laughs> right, okay. And then the top one then, we're going to score at two centimetres. So I'm going to just pop that on there and then that's one, two centimetre fold. There. Okay, that's our fold lines. Excellent. Now, this is where it gets a bit complicated. So... This fold here, we are going to fold down and in, okay? Then we have now got a fold on the side here and we have got a fold on the side here. And then we've got a fold, a flap, I'm going to call this because that's what it's intended to be, is a flap here. Now, when you start to put your... Um, folds and flaps into shape you start to see the bits that are not needed so for example we've got these little bits here on this top corner here that are not needed so I'm going to remove those top bits and when I say remove I'm going to just shade out and show you what it is I'm going to be cutting off I'm going to be cutting this little flap here okay so there's a bit there because you probably can't see it because I'm working with a pattern paper so basically where that meets that that's what I'm cutting off. So this here. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. And then just take that down like so. And then cut that away like that. And it doesn't hurt if you do a little triangle as well. It just takes away the kind of edginess of it. And there. And then again, just cut it down. Right, so putting that back where it was. Now we've also got the same going on here. So I'm going to just cut down this little section here again. Just to get it out of the way. And then just take that down there. And then again, just to get it out of the way. And then out like that. Okay. Okie doke. So the first thing we're going to do is to fold this flap over and glue this bit down because we don't need um, we don't need that moving around. No, we don't. So let's do that. And then we know we glue down the right section then, don't we? So just take that across there. There we go. Just 
and over glue, Rachel. Here we go. Okay, so that's that bit done. So the next thing we're going to look at now are these um, these trails here. Now these are going to form. This is what we're basically going to use to kind of like sticky pocket together, really. So um, I'm just going to take that in like that. Double check what's going on in there. Now you can either remove the one and just stick one to the other, or you can leave them both in place. Sometimes it can be nice to leave them both in place because it does give you a little bit of um, spring. Is that the right word? It's it, just a bit more space, I think, can sometimes be created in there by leaving them in there. Um, but if you do find that it's not folding properly or your paper's very thick, you might want to just take a notch out from here, like so. Being very careful not to cut any further in than needs cut in. There we go. And then sometimes that just helps when you're folding because you don't have that resistance then on the actual fold here. Does that make sense? I hope it's making sense. There we go. So let's go with that as well. There we go. Right. So that's all that done there. So the next thing that we just need to look at now is the flaps of our actual um, pocket. So we want to try and do all of these cuts before we start sticking anything together. So we just want to shape these up a bit now because they look a little bit, you know. So the first thing we need to do is make them independent of each other because at the moment this is still a fixed, um, you know, one piece, that's what I'm trying to say at the top. So that needs to be cut down in half. Can I just snip down there a minute? Down to there. There we go. So they should now fold nicely. Fold nicely now. Feels like something I should be saying to the dog. Oh my goodness, do you know what he did this morning? <laughs> and he got his head all tangled up inside. I got a just a garden dress on, a black garden dress. Jumping around, got his head all tangled up inside of my dress and then stuck his blooming tusk to it. I've now got a hole in my dress. Oh my goodness, it's so frustrating. Honestly. I just like, looked at him and I was like, oh my word, if you weren't so cute. But there we are. He's been very good. Very good. He doesn't complain. Although he does, as my middle one likes to say, he does redecorate his play area a lot. Or his, his, his room. Redecorating his room, he says. Throws all the bed around, and you can usually hear the water ball going over after a bit when he's had enough, and then <laughs> that starts shimmying around his area, doesn't it? Like, what are you doing? There we go. So, what I've just done there now, I've just taken the tiny, tiniest little bits, snippets out just to kind of give these a little bit of a, you know, just make them look a bit better. Right, so shall we glue this down now? Let's just double check now. We've got all of our folds done properly. I think that they look great. I think they look great. And then let's just check that that's folding nice there. Lots of bone folding. That's the answer when you're making these pockets. There we go. Right, yes, let's glue this together now. So I'm going to just simply glue, not too much either, because it'll all come spewing out otherwise. I think probably just the one side is sufficient. Now, I think I'm going to just wait for that to dry a second and then I'm going to pop some stitching around the edge of that. So let me just show you now how this is going to fit into your journal. So basically, let's have a page. Have I folded that? Oh, no, I have not do it nicely. It will fit on the page on this one. like so. So it'll, it'll glue it on there, we'll glue it across the bottom and then you'll have these nice little flaps on there, you see, and then you'll have pocket behind there, pocket in there 
and then the same here pocket in there and a pocket behind there because we're going to glue at the bottom so i'm just going to pop a bit of stitching around the edge and then we will decorate it and we'll be a minute okay so i've gone and stitched around the edges now and i think that really adds a little bit to it so what i've also done now is i've got some of the uh, ephemera cards out of the ephemera set and I've just done a simple bit of stitching on a little bit of, I've got some of this lovely boho trim here. So I've just cut some bits off. I've put a, put a piece on that one there and a piece on this one there. I'm just going to pop this onto um, the front of these pockets. But I'm going to pop them on in a way that we'll have a pocket in the front there as well. Okay, so I'm going to just glue around the edges there. So I'm just simply pop those on there a second. And then we'll have a little bit of a secret um, storage space, secret hidey space. We like those, don't we? A little hidden tuck. Right, so let's just pop that there a minute. There we go. And then same on the side here. Golly, kids have got the hoover on in the bedroom next door. What's going on in there? Are you having a moment or somebody's spilled something? <laughs> I don't mind as long as they have a bit around mine as well. <laughs> there we go. Right. Excellent. So I've also got some words, which I thought I might pop here. But I do want to just add a little bit more. Uh, maybe some lace. Yeah, that'll do nicely. A little bit of lace. Do you ever cut something like fabric specifically and then find that it's starting to feel tricky for the scissors to go through the, the scissors to cut through the fabric and then think to yourself, I hope that's not my finger in there. Is, is it just me that thinks that? And then thinks to myself, no, you'd feel it surely if you were cutting through your finger. But I do often question that. Gordon Bennett, what are they doing out there? I do apologize for all the noise in the background. But I am not going to go out and stop them. <laughs> Somebody's actually doing some cleaning out there. Amazing. Oh, my uh, number two is back from uni. And he's struggling with a bit of motivation today. Bless him. So uh, I've just planted a few ideas in his head and then left him to it. So he's obviously picked something up and gone with that. Well, that's okay. That's good. It's hard with the change of routine, isn't it? He's been trying to find a job, but he's not having much joy. So, um, just trying to keep him busy. But I'm trying not to nag, you know? It's a fine line, isn't there, between, oh, come and do this, come and do that, and just thinking, no. If he wants to do something, he'll come and say, anything to do. There we go. Right. Okay. So, we've got ourselves a little pocket in there now. We've got ourselves a little pocket in the front of there. I was thinking, I'm not going to put it on like glue, but like dry. We've got a pocket in the top there, a pocket in the top there, and then we'll have tuck spots behind. So let's grab our page. Where's the journal? There she is. Oh, she's starting to fill up nicely now. I'm almost ready to sew the signature. I'm just afraid if I sew the signature in too soon, I'll regret it and think, oh, I should have left that. Page is blue into itself. I should have left that and it would have, you know, I could have put this in there or that in there. Um, pick a page, any page, any page. Pick a page. I'll pop it on there, actually. Right, where are we? So, oh, I know I was going to just do last but not least. I was just going to ink around the edge of my... Thing. I'm looking around my desk for my pink dot, but oh, there it is, behind the ink. Right, so let's just pop a little bit of ink on that flap there. And I'm going to do something to the flap in a second as well to just encourage that to stay down. I will show you that in a moment. Oh, bits of things everywhere. Right, okay, let's get this glued to our page. Check. Yep, I like that on there. Oh, that looks nice there too. Okay, yes, happy with that. Good choice of page. Now, we're not gluing this section and we're not gluing that section. We're simply gluing the bottom. 
all right and then if you want to perhaps pop a little bit down there oh rips on his feet again and you hear something being turned over in the bed down there my goodness it's like a madhouse show really <laughs> it's, it's all or nothing but you know what there must be something in that because i can't think when the house is quiet I know that sounds ridiculous. I'm here on my own most of the day. Um, but you think I can get my brain in gear to do my videos then? Nope. Cannot think at all. It's only when they're all in and there's noise and it's busy. It's like it wakes my brain up. It's really strange. But um, you'd think I would take advantage of the <laughs> six hours of unadulterated peace that I have all day. Nope. Bye. You have to wait until it all the house is full. <laughs> oh, dear. In my defence, I have been very busy this week. I was busy doing all of the admin for the retreat this morning again. So, um, very busy, very excited. We've only got how many days left? We've got a day today. It's Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. <gasps> Four more days and it's on the fifth day. Oh my gosh, I am so excited. I'm also very, very nervous. Our first one. I hope it goes well. I'm sure it will. I'm sure it'll be fabulous. I'm sure it'll all go fine. Right, okay. So we've now got that on the page to clean my desk right so what i was thinking was i want to just add something on there now that's going to give it just a little bit of weight and kind of keep the flap down so i was thinking i might use some of these and i've got pink ones and i've got gold ones so let's just look i think it's nice but i also like the gold i think i'm gonna go let's well cut off a pink on one side and oh no i know what i'm gonna do i know right let me just cut that a minute I'm getting excited, I am, because I'm going to see my very, 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 very bestest friend, um, Rose, on Monday. And I can't wait to see her. Cannot wait. It's been so, so long. Um, and, yeah, really excited that she's making the trip over from Ireland. Um, and coming over to our retreat. And I'm super, super excited. And um, Plus, we're going to be cellmates. So that's going to be fun. Um <laughs> Although she did text me earlier on, I know she won't mind me telling you this, to ask if there was going to be decaf coffee there. And I kind of raised an eyebrow and thought, hmm, we're sharing a room. If we haven't got it there, I will get you some. Because <laughs> I struggle enough to sleep as it is without having Rose O'Keefe swinging from the lampshade. <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> she was saying, it's fabulous. <laughs> oh, my word. Good grief. I know. I wonder how much sleep they're all going to have. Plenty, I would imagine, because they're going to wear themselves out yakking all day. I said, uh, and I put a little post. We got like a little um, Facebook group for, um, you know, where I'm putting all the information for them. And I put a post on there the other day saying, oh, you know, what are you all hoping to achieve and you know, you know, to do while you're at your retreat? <laughs> and they're all saying what they're bringing with them. And Angela Kerr said that she wasn't going to bring too much stuff to do because she imagined that she's probably going to spend a lot of her time chatting. And I thought, yeah, that's about right. But it's just about having the opportunity to just catch up, isn't it? It just feels like so long since we've been able to do stuff like this. Um, you know, just trying to get back to normality. And I know it's taken a bit longer for some of us, um, especially people that were shielding, because we were really just stuck in, weren't we? And I think it was the biggest um, shock of all to us, then finally coming back out of lockdown and stuff. And yeah, it's been... Not, it's been easy, not been easy with Sam, so I think it'll be very, very exciting. I know I'm ridiculously excited. I'm also very nervous because I'm doing all the catering. <laughs> I'm not sure if all of them realise that. Um, but yeah, trying to keep the costs low for them. Um, so I'm catering the food. Um, so hopefully <laughs> we won't have any... We won't have any upset tummies or anything like that. No, it's all going to be fine. I've got the most fantastic kitchen to work in there as well. And I know I've got my trusty team on hand ready to help. So, um, yeah, it, 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 it may be like a scene from Gordon Ramsay's kitchen at some stage. No, it won't. It won't. It's, it is laughable because you all know how much I hate cooking. <laughs> what kind of an idiot who hates cooking organises a retreat and says, yeah, I'll do the catering. It's like, Really? Really? Oh, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. There we go. What do you reckon? Should we put that down there? Just to add an extra bit of bling? Why not? We're going as boho as we can go. What should I put there? No, 
I like it there, I think. Because we've already got a bit of glitz over here, haven't we? Yeah, let's go for a bite there. Right, guys, I'm hoping now you've gotten the kind of the crux now of how this pocket works. Pockets, I should say. Because we've ended up with six pockets out of one sheet of paper. Wow! All right, I've cheated. I've added two bits on, but even so, even so. Right, so let's see what we've got here. So we've got... They go nice behind there, don't they? One there, like that. And then... That one's back already. Pop it behind there. Lovely, lovely. I'll come back and ink her later. Just, 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 just to give you an idea. Right, now, where's my... I need some bits of ephemera now. So I'm going to get me a trusty ephemera wallet out that we made together the other day. And I'm just sifting through a sec to see if I've got any larger. I have got some larger ephemera here. What have we got here? Will that fit behind there, do you think? No, it's not going to go in there, is it? No, it's not going to go behind there, Rachel. Not something smaller. I should have cut some extra bits. I, I literally printed out the ephemera from this... Um, Boho kit now, uh, either three or four times. Oh, they could be quite cute in there too, couldn't they? Should I pop them in there too? Because you could just keep on using the stuff. It's just, I love it. I love it. I love this kit so much. I think this is why I'm going to be working on a retreat next week because I haven't finished my boho journals at all yet. So I think I'm going to bring, um, I'm going to bring those with me. So there we are. We've got a pocket behind there now as well. You want to? Pop something behind there carefully. Oop. And then, I wonder if that one will go behind there. No, I think I'm going to trim it down. Why not? There we go. Will it go behind there now? <laughs> just. Oh, hang on. Let me just t tidy up my trimming. There we go. Yes, there we are. Nice bit of ephemera behind there now. And then, you've got room then to pop whatever you want in there. I'm thinking perhaps journaling cards, maybe. Is that too big to go in there? No. Oh, there we are. Very nice. That'll fit in there perfectly. Now, if you want to, you can add a thumb, you know, with a, use your circle cutter and cut out a thumb thing. If you want to, but you don't have to. But I quite like that. They're like that. I think that looks really cute. They're like little envelopes aren't they on the page there we go you've got six pockets in one all from one sheet of paper and it didn't take us long at all did it so go and have a go at that keep on sharing all of your um pictures if you will please on our facebook page we are almost at the end of our 100 days uh by the way I do apologize yes i completely got the number wrong i think i said it was like 90 two and 93 and i think we've actually on 94 95 or maybe it was i don't know i'm gonna have to double check again now we're so close to the end i'm like oh my gosh my brain is just going i know i'll finish sunday that i do know <laughs> so have a wonderful evening everybody don't forget to check out stacy's crafty jam with her collaboration video tonight or today it is on the um uh playlist um and have a wonderful evening and i will be back with you all tomorrow take care now Bye bye